Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we are going to be trying out the craze that is all over YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook. We come from the planet Facebook. You know what I mean. It's all over absolutely everywhere. So uh, it's called the Fox Eye. I've just completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, it's called the Fox Eye. It's an amalgamation of lots of different techniques that creates that really lifted, fake facelift sort of look. So it can knock years off you and this is not new. I've been showing you and using these techniques for a really, really long time on my channel, but I've never actually tried using all of the techniques in one look. So we're gonna be trying that out today. Let's crack on with the fox eye, but before we do, please make sure you have liked, subscribed, and hit on that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time, and I'm also on Instagram. Instagram, I'm also on Instagram. Forgot what it was called then. If you want to check me out over there, it's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. This is going downhill really, really fast. Let's hope there's a curve and we start going back up again. Let's get on with it. Okay, so we're gonna start with brows. Now, brows are a really important part of this look. If you were to have a facelift, so if you were to pull here, and I do have my hair up in a tight pony today to help this look, because obviously when you pull your hair really taut, everything also is a little bit more lifted. So it does help the look if you put your hair up really tight, but you don't have to. So if you did have a little bit of a mini facelift, your eyebrows would look a little bit more like this. So the ends of your brows would look more horizontal and uh, wouldn't go out as far. So I tend to have my brows quite short anyway. Some people that are trying this look are actually shaving the ends of their brows off. I think that's a little extreme. If you do want to try this look and you don't want to tweeze your brows, just use a bit of concealer to cover up where the brows are to see if you like the way this looks on you before you go for anything a little bit more drastic. Okay, so we're going to lift the brows and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna brush the hairs up to make the hairs look like they are a little bit higher than they actually are. And I'm also going to make sure that the edge of the brow is as horizontal as it possibly can be. Now, I don't need to do a lot of work on my brows because if you have seen any of my brow videos, you will have noticed me say that although the guidelines state that the brow should probably finish here, and these guidelines don't work for everybody, I always like to keep the point of my brow as short as possible because I do feel like this adds to the lifted effect of the eye and we could all use with a little bit of help in that area the older we get. And uh, I find that that does help. So I'm gonna fill in the brows So as you can see here, I've just filled in a little bit that I wouldn't usually fill in. So my arch is slightly lower, but the wing of my brow is now more horizontal than it was before. I'm also not taking it as far down. So I do have some brow hair here, which I am gonna have to cover over with a little bit of concealer so that my brow finishes more horizontal than it would have done with my natural brow. So, I mean, we want the brow to be as lifted as possible. We don't want to look like Mr. Spock or we don't want to look like we've had a really bad facelift. So you, you don't want to take them too high, but you want them to be as horizontal as possible. So when it comes to the inner portion of your brow, you actually want to extend it slightly because it needs to look as natural as possible. And when we go onto the eye portion of this makeup, we are going to extend the inner corner of the eye to make it look more fox-like. So if we're extending this inner corner, we also need to extend the brow a little bit as well. So I'm gonna bring that brow slightly further towards my nose, just so the brows finish where the eye is also going to finish. So I'm just gonna take some brow setter from NYX and just rub that through my brows just to make sure that they hold their shape. 
Okay, so let's get on with the eye look. The palette that I've chosen to use today is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. Not only is this a beautiful palette, but I've chosen it because this has lots of natural brown shades in here. And I just feel like you get far more success with this look if you go very, very natural. This fox eye is supposed to trick the eye of the person looking at you and make them think that your eye is a completely different shade shape. So although you can experiment with this look and use blues and greens and purples and oranges, it's not going to be as effective. The trickery foolery part of it isn't going to have as much of an impact if you don't choose very, very natural shades. So I'm going to take quite a flat brush. This is the Refer number no. two brush. And I'm gonna do it because it has quite a fine point on there and um, is perfect for what I'm about to do. So I'm actually gonna dip into this shade here, which is a great neutral shade and it's not too far off my natural skin tone. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Nude, dust off the excess, and then I'm gonna take a tissue line it up with the bottom of my eye, but slightly kink it out a little bit. So it's slightly wider than my eye would usually go. And then take that color and concentrate it right on the base, right next to the eye, and then blend it up. You don't want to have lots of pigmentation right on the tip of the wing. You want to keep it quite concentrated right at the base and then it look more natural just blending it and blurring it out right at that tip. So connect it to the lash line and just wing that up. just like that. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to go again and I'm slightly going to place it a little bit lower. Again, taking more of that shade. And connecting that lower lash line now. There we go. All connected. Then I'm going to connect the top lash line and just keep blending until you get the effect that you want. Then I'm going to take a slightly fluffier brush. This is the Refa 13 brush and I'm just going to soften that and wing it out a little bit just so it's really, really soft and blurred. So now I'm just going to deepen off right down at the lash line using my Refa 3 brush, which is a really, really fine tip. And I'm going to go into this shade here, which is called Truffle, and it's the deepest brown in the pan. Again, knocking off that excess because we don't want to go too intense. I'm going to connect the top and a lower lash lines like I would normally do in any eye look and then just make that outer edge just slightly deeper. Now at this point I am going to mess with the inner corner of my eye and for that I need either a liquid liner or a very sharp coal liner. So I'm choosing to use a liquid liner. This is my NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. I'm actually using it in the shade brown because I don't want it to look too intense and too unnatural. But um, let's see if I can do this without smudging absolutely everywhere. So I'm just going to add a little bit to this shade and bring it further down over here. There. And then bring it in to the natural eye. So just like that. 
So once I've done that, I'm gonna take my Arefa 03 brush again and just soften that lower lash line and just connect everything together so it doesn't just look like I've got a black line on the inner corner. I'm gonna use the first shade that we used, which was the shade Nude, to just dust that underneath the eye and just connect that together. Then I'm just going to go over the top and just again do exactly the same. Really, really pretty. Now I'm going to add a bit of an inner corner highlight, but instead of adding it where I would usually put it, which is where this extra line is, I'm going to add it a little bit closer to my nose. So I'm going to take a bit of glistening snow and then pop that right there. So now it's either lashes or mascara. I'm not a big fan of lashes, so I'm gonna go straight for mascara. But when you're adding your mascara, you need to concentrate on this outer portion of the eye just to lift it a little bit. Obviously, you can put mascara on these inner corner lashes, but you really do need to concentrate the mascara and build it up on this outer edge to just increase that lifted effect. So I'm going to be using my favourite at the moment, this is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes and I'm going to take the volumising side and really get it at the base of these outer lashes. So then once I've done that I'm going to take the Lift and Curl and I'm going to add a little bit of length on this side, completely missing out this inner corner because I really want to lengthen this side of my eye and make it look absolutely huge. If you're actually applying false lashes, I would cut your lashes down so that they're just sitting on the outer portion of your eye to really get the maximum effect. Now we're going to move on to blush and it's really, really important that you also lift the cheek as well as lifting the eye, otherwise it's really not going to match. And I've always recommended that if you do want that lifted effect, you shouldn't put any blush anywhere near the apple of your cheek or really close to your nose because that will drag everything down. What you really want to do is not put any blush any closer to your nose than the corner of your iris. So just concentrate here and up and use patting motions. You don't want to add too much product. I don't want too much blush, although I really do like my blush as you probably know. But you just want to concentrate on that outer portion of the face. And go a little bit onto the temples as well because that adds to the lifted effect. So just like that and it just really gives the lifted effect and makes it look like you have a higher cheekbone and just everything's pulled up. So you can also play around with a bit of bronzer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline City Bronzer and my Arefa 05 brush adding a tiny weeny bit, and I do mean a tiny bit, and concentrating right next to the ear underneath that cheekbone. Just adding a little bit of contour just to make that look a bit deeper than it is, which will have the effect of making my cheekbone look a bit higher. Just gonna apply a little bit to my hairline as well. just to finish off the look, a bit down the nose. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. This is my Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss in the shade Pros. So that's the finished look, at least on one half of my face. So really when doing the eyebrow, it should really start to go out horizontally from here. So it should have perhaps finished there, but you get the gist and I really didn't want to shave my eyebrow off.
really didn't want to do that today. So let me show you the difference. So here is the side that hasn't been done. And here is the side that has. Everything is super lifted, really looks quite stretched. I really like it, really, really like it. And uh, I'm gonna do the other side now. So that's it, that is the finished look. I've got to say, I absolutely love it. And I know Wes loves it because I've just been downstairs to get a drink before I film this part and he went, oh, wow. So uh, it's definitely a hit with him, definitely a hit with me. Would I wear this every single day? No, probably not, because it did take a little bit more effort than I'm used to, but uh, I really, really like it. And it definitely has the desired effect. This is very, very lifting, a little bit like a fake facelift, just with products. So you can save yourself an absolute fortune. And again, this can be as natural as you like. You don't need to go as intense as me. So you don't need to go in with that darker shade. You can keep it very, very natural. And uh, I just think it looks really, really beautiful. Do let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Let me know if you are going to try this. And if you do, send me your pictures over on Instagram in a direct message because I really would love to see them. Anyway, hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.